Okay, so you may have heard this term dysregulated nervous system, but what does that actually mean? And most importantly, what can you do about it? Hey, I'm Ben Ahrens, co-founder of Reorigin, where we teach you how to reclaim your health by retraining your brain. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a pretty quick technique that you can use to essentially reset a nervous system that's been dysregulated and do it in under 60 seconds. So first, what is the nervous system? Well, we have a central nervous system, which consists of the brain and spinal cord, and then we have a peripheral nervous system, which is all of the nerve endings that branch out throughout the body that stem off of the spinal cord. In this case, we're really talking about the central nervous system, as that is the main resource allocator and sort of control center for all of these other various organs, cells, and systems in the body that need to be coordinated in certain ways in order for us to feel at ease, healthy, and what we basically know as homeostasis. Now, you may have heard that the nervous system has these two main branches, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. Now, the sympathetic branch of the nervous system, you can think of as this part of you that's fight or flight, that gets you energized and basically shunts all of these bodily resources like blood and oxygen and nutrients to the extremities, to your muscles and limbs, to mobilize you for action. You've, I'm sure, heard the classic analogy of being chased by a saber-toothed tiger if we were back in Paleolithic times. The sympathetic nervous system would become activated to help you avoid the threat. So obviously this is a good thing. We wanna have this if we're crossing a street and a car whizzes by or something happens, we need to escape the area. We need this fight or flight mechanism intact to get us out of danger. Now, the nervous system never just wants to bring you up and leave you there. It always wants to give you a fail safe or a mechanism for coming back down to baseline, to that homeostasis. And that we call the parasympathetic nervous system. And a good way to remember that is by the word para, you can think of the word parachute. It's meant, meant to slow you down, return you back to the ground. Sometimes, however, if we've been dealing with ongoing stress or a chronic illness or anxiety for a long period of time, the brain can effecti effectively learn to overprotect the body. It can even become somewhat sensitized to regular stimuli and things in the environment and set off that, it's like setting off a car alarm when in fact there's no burglar present. When that's the case, we say that the nervous system may be dysregulated, meaning it's throwing out these survival outputs based on neutral or benign inputs. And just to be very clear here, the sympathetic nervous system or that state of fight or flight is not bad. I know there's a lot of conversation that we wanna avoid fight or flight or get out of that state. Of course, what we want is to avoid spending the majority of our time there. We wanna spend the majority of our time in that parasympathetic, that calm, rest and digest state where those bodily resources can be freed up and made available for long-term healing, building, digestion, and procreation. So the dysregulation or the problem comes in where somewhere down the line, our brain and nervous system may have gotten the message wrong and is now continuing to keep us in that fight or flight state beyond the period where it's really necessary. And what that feels like can be like elevated heart rate, nervous, can feel like I'm tired and wired. It can feel like there's things going on in the back of my mind that I, I need to attend to such that if I don't attend to them, everything might collapse, right? Some of it can be that subtle feeling of like, did I leave the coffee pot on? All of these types of things may be indicative of a dysregulated nervous system or what we also refer to as limbic system dysfunction. Now, the good news is that the same way that your brain learns to overprotect you, it can also learn to come back to baseline. And I have a separate video on this if you wanna search limbic system dysfunction uh, with Reorigin, that video will pop right up and we'll put a link in the description below. But for now, what do you do when you notice that your nervous system may be dysregulated? Well, the number one thing is to know that the brain and nervous system likes order. Whenever we feel like we've been thrown for a loop or we've blown a fuse is how some people refer to it, it can feel like being thrown into chaos. Our mind, our thoughts are ping-ponging around and it's hard to get a handle on ourselves. So think of it like a car that's kind of careening down the highway and instead of sitting in the driver's seat, we're just sitting in the back seat going along for the ride. And what we wanna do, of course, is climb our way back into the driver's seat, get our hands on the wheel, and essentially come back into that feeling of safety and security where we know we have control. So there's a few simple ways to do that, and one of them is deep breathing. 
specifically taking a breath with a double inhale at the top and a long exhale at the bottom. I'll give you an example and I'll explain why this is so effective. So it looks like this. Once more. So you see I inhale for a count of three or four and then at the very top I sniff in a little bit more air and then let it go. So a couple of things are happening here. One, we're actually getting a little bit more oxygen into the lungs, which we know oxygenates the blood and the brain and can help us to focus. So kind of like in martial arts, when they do this type of breathing, uh, it puts a little bit of adrenaline into the bloodstream and can help sharpen our sense of focus. So our focus goes from ping ponging all over the place to more centered. Now, the second reason is that the brain really likes rhythm especially when it feels like it's been thrown into chaos, one of the things that can help us climb back is following a rhythm. And for this reason, putting on a song or something that has a strong beat or steady melody can be great, but even creating that rhythm with your breath, with your body, can give your brain something regular to latch onto so it doesn't feel so out of control or out of sync. Now, another layer you can add to this is bilateral stimulation. So this can be done by snapping fingers of your opposite hand. So going back and forth. And what we're doing here is we're now engaging the left and right hemisphere and giving your brain something concrete to focus on. Again, it's rhythmic, it's easy, it's kind of enjoyable, <laughs> it's interesting. And lastly, we can bring our hands to meet in the middle and we can put this whole sequence together. So I'm gonna share with you now the technique that I like to use to quickly in 60 seconds or less, get myself out of that fight or flight feeling dysregulated state and back into calm homeostasis. I'm just gonna demonstrate it. Then you can practice this on your own and share in the comments below if you found this effective. For me, it consists of the first part is taking that long inhale with the the double inhale and long slow exhale, followed by a snap with the right hand, a snap with the left hand, and a clap in the middle. It looks like this, bear with me here. You can join in if you like. Once more. There you go. So that's something that I would do for about a minute. As you can tell, it incorporates all of those different aspects of breathing, double inhalation, long exhale, bilateral stimulation, and rhythm, putting it all together in a kind of neat little sequence. Give it a try, let me know how it worked for you. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below, and I really look forward to hearing from you.